every child remembers growing up with a playground. In the summers, kids will come up here. Even in the evenings, kids will come up here and play. So a playground is a vital piece of a school. We're blessed at Arborview um, and fortunate with the community support, both uh, in the school that has ki that have kids here, but then also just the greater community within the, the different subdivisions and boundary areas that feed into it, the businesses in the, in the area. Um, everybody believes in Arborview, uh, wants to help at Arborview, and they're willing to always come back. We realized that our existing playground was not all-inclusive for all students from preschool through fifth grade and students with or without disabilities. The PTC and the school thought we should do a fundraiser to create a boundary-free playground and accessible for any student that, that comes to play here. About a month and a half is where we, we started the process of from demo, we had a company come in and take the playground down in two days, which was amazing to see, and then from the arrival to the install. When we said like that we we're going to do a community build, I even questioned, are we going to get the parents to come out? It's the middle of July when we kind of were building the, the hard parts, and, and the parents came out and they, they wanted to help, and that the heat, the time, if there were setbacks, they were okay with all that, they just wanted to be part of it. My name is Julie Lurch. I am the proud mom of Max. He is a third grader here at Arborview. Um, and I got involved with the PTC a few years ago because I wanted to really be able to give back um, to, to where Max was. I mean, he was getting a, a really an amazing education. One company came out and was here every day. The, another company that came out because one of their employees was really involved with the committee and they sent these three guys who are incredible who they, they would still be a pile of boxes I'm telling you would still be a pile of boxes sitting in the gym without for those guys because they they had the knowledge and then everybody else came in with the person power one parent told us that they wanted to come out just to build it so they could tell their child I was part of building that playground that you get to play on every single day the Arborview community in general, whether you're talking about the Valley or you're talking about Scottsdale, is a very tight-knit community. We just appreciate everything that everybody did, whether they sold raffle tickets, bought a raffle ticket, put in a rivet, donated hot dogs to feed the workers, came and gave an hour, came and gave multiple days, came to parents' night out, ran in the ramble, were part of a committee. We are forever grateful and thankful for our families that are willing to come back and support us because that shows that we made a connection that lasts a lifetime. It was a race to the finish to get the playground done and even the weekend before we were still doing things but we knew on opening day it was going to be ready for the kids to play. It meets all of our kids' needs. Um, it's just a fun place where kids can congregate, they can have free choice and freedom. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Coming down here that first day after school and this place was just packed and they were having so much fun and they didn't want to leave. And this little girl comes up to me. Her name was Tessa. She was going to be a kindergartner here at Arborview. And she looked at me and she was, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my whole life. That was it. That made it worth it. The first day of school was awesome. The kids came running out the two doors that we come out for recess and just came piling onto the equipment. Like every piece of the equipment was used and you could just see them exploring it, looking at it, trying out new things and their faces were just lit up with excitement. They thought it was just like, it was like a present given to all of them. That's what makes the whole project uh, at the end when you sit back and think what we did, um, the win. Because it was for the kids and the kids benefited from it tremendously here at Arborview and that's that's what it was all about and that's every day i see him out there side playing it just brings a smile to my face and warms my heart it's just the gift that keeps on giving